So our first question that we've been asking all of our presenters uh, throughout the day today is, what inspired you to become an oceanographer? Well, <laughs> I'm, uh, well, hi everyone. Uh, first of all, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to have recorded that, but I wasn't sure if I was to if I was going to be able to to be here today that late. Uh, well, actually, I'm not uh, oceanographer, but uh, geologist, and uh, it was just uh, the fact that I I was born in Tenerife. Uh, uh, and in the Canary Island, uh, we have a lot of volcans everywhere, and uh, I was uh, fascinated with volcans uh, since the very beginning. So I decided to become a, a geologist, basically. Okay, thank you very much. You might find it interesting. We've actually <laughs> had a, a school from the Canary Islands who's been joining us most of today. So we've had lots of participation from a school from your kind of home. Yeah, home no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Um, so our other question we've had come in is, which is the most important offshore CCS reservoir worldwide? Well, the largest and oldest CCS site in the world is probably Sleipner, Sleipner site in the North Sea. Uh, this uh, CCS site has been operative since 1996, I think, uh, with a CO2 injection rate of 1 million tons of CO2 per year, basically. But uh, the injected CO2 so far only represent less than 0.1% of the total estimated capacity for this site, which is, uh, I think, above uh, 600 billion tons of CO2. So it's a very good reservoir. Okay. Um, another question that we're asking about uh, careers um, is, if you had the chance to go back to yourself as a 15-year-old, what advice would you give about taking your career and becoming a geologist? Do whatever is inspiring you, do whatever you like, but do it enthusiastically and, uh, and, uh, uh, and never give up. <laughs> okay. Uh, how can CO2 induced reactions compromise the integ integrity of the reservoir in the long term? Well, this is a good question. Well, the, if the reactions involve dissolution of reservoir minerals, they might lead to local changes in the state of stress within the reservoir, which in turn can trigger uh, some geomechanical readjustments, if you like, which could involve block displacement to some extent. So if the reaction leads to precipitation, uh, this will mostly affect the injectivity, the CO2 injectivity. So that means that the effectivity with which CO2 is being injected uh, is going to be compromised. Uh, that's why it's uh, so important to conduct simulations uh, in the laboratory. OK, so are these reactions always a bad thing? Not really. Uh, some rocks are uh, quite kind to incorporate CO2 in their matrix. Uh, the most interesting case uh, is the basalt rock formations. Uh, uh, in basalt rock formation, carbonation uh, occurs in some, in some of them when exposed to CO2, which leads to permanent CO2 storage by mineral trapping. Uh, in a project called Carbon Fix uh, carry out uh, in Iceland, uh, researchers from the University of Southampton found that uh, this phenomenon is uh, quicker and much more effective than the, it was ori originally thought, reaching trapping efficiencies over 90% of the injected CO2 in, the, in just two, two years, more than 95% actually of the injected CO2 in just two years become part of the, of the, mineral, uh, of, of the mineral structure. Basically, yeah. Okay. So, as a geologist, you've probably undertaken quite a bit of field work or, or expeditions. Which one is is the most important or the, the highlights of your career so far? Well, the first one uh, by far, because uh, I was uh, still doing my bachelor uh, in Granada, and I was uh, invited to participate uh, in a research cruise in uh, in, uh, in Oregon States. And uh, uh, with a couple of friends, we all flew to, to the States for the first time in our lives. And uh, 
and got involved in the, such an amazing cruise where we, we could learn a lot of things. Um, it was a super multidisciplinary uh, cruise. And uh, from that point onwards, I, I, I had uh, just one thing clear in my mind. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, uh, I, I, I wanted to be a researcher basically. So that was beautiful. Excellent. Uh, just looking at our um, speakers lounge, we've just had a, uh, a question coming from Jose. Um, are there suitable areas to capture CO2 near the UK? Uh, say again, please. I didn't. Are there suitable areas to capture CO2 near the UK? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, uh, there are some projects uh, um, ongoing. Or, or just just about uh, starting uh, around the CO2 uh, shore, and um, but uh, it, we we have to say that actually uh, the borders for reservoirs are not the physical borders we have for uh, countries. For instance, uh, if we are injecting CO2 in the North Sea, it's actually uh, transpassing the uh, international borders because uh, it's moving underground. So. It's very difficult to, to say, but yeah, there are some projects uh, coming up in the, in the UK. Excellent. Uh, does anybody else have any other questions that they want to put into the, the box? Okay, yeah, we've got one. What does your, what does a normal day look like for you? Is it all field trips or laboratory experiments or? It's mostly laboratory stuff, yeah. Uh, um, once a year, once a year, more or less, I get involved in a in a field trip, if you like. But it's it's, uh, it's basically a, a research cruise uh, where we can take samples and so on. But uh, mm, what I what I do is uh, needs to be done in the in a in a specific labs. And in this case, the Rock Physics Laboratory in the National Oceanography Center is uh, quite a suitable place to, to run simulation of uh, uh, CO2 injection in, in reservoir rocks. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's frustrating sometimes working in the lab, but uh, it's super rewarding at the same time. Oh, yeah. And how, how do you feel that the work that you do and the experiments that you do will uh, long-term impact climate change? Well, I just contribute with what I can. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, with the data I generate and the, uh, uh, and the interpretations I, I, I conduct with, uh, with the data collected, uh, someone can develop uh, uh, suitable uh, numerical models to, to, to improve the prediction of the CO2 rock interaction during the CO2. Uh, storage activities. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye bye all.